Hello and welcome to my video on setting up a Spirit Fly Barless controller with a OpenTX transmitter. In my case, I'm using a Jumper T16 with a Jumper R1 receiver. You can see the R1 in the picture there. I'm going to go through setting up the SBUS, hooking it up the cables, and uh, I'm not going to go in details and configuration. I'm, I'll do a model configuration video later. I'm still waiting on version 3.0 to come out before I do that. But in this video, I will cover hooking up the SBUS, hooking up SmartPort, S-Port if you would, and you can see the integration. So that, that's kind of the target of what we're shooting for here. Okay, so we've to get started, you can see I already have in here the the USB connector plugged into my sys port. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take and connect power to to it so that we can talk to it. I'm just going to plug that into one of the auxiliary ports if I can manage that. There we go. So uh, now I have the spirit powered up. If I go to the laptop, okay, now that we're on the computer, we're gonna go and run the wizard, gonna select Futaba SBUS, go next, picture how you will connect it, I'll show you that. You can configure the orientation of the spirit and your swash blade. You can go and set up, if you plan to hook up your uh, servos, make sure you actually make those changes on here before you hook up the servos, very important. And click next, connect. It's gonna tell me that I have changed the receiver type because I changed it to SBUS, right? So uh, it's asking me to reconnect the battery after we do that. But first we need to save the settings. So then I click there, click okay. So now it says reconnect needed. And we're gonna take power off. And then we're gonna put power back on. So recycling power. We're just waiting for the little blue LED to finish its thing and we're gonna hit connect and it says connected. Great. So now it takes us to the diagnostic panel. And for that to work, we need to hook up our receiver. So now that we can talk SBUS, we're gonna take a standard little male to male connector here. Note if you have a spurt one, you will need a special SBUS adapter cable and plug it into our SBUS port. So if you have a receiver with an SBUS port, you go ahead and plug it straight in. Since I'm using one of these little post type uh, receivers, I have a little pigtail coming off here that makes this happen for me. So you see that SBUS is coming out on this little purple-ish blue wire, I guess. So it's this one here, and it's going into this, this top connector. You, you see I have two connectors here, my, uh, pigtail and we'll talk about the other one in a little bit so this one is just broken out it's connected to i don't know if you can see that on the video we have negative uh, the negative or the brown we have a red and then we have the orange or uh, in this case changes to purple which is my sbus so we're going to connect the sbus cable like so I'll plug that in there and then the other end with the orange up is going into the rudder port. So as soon as I did that, you can see that my receiver powered up. Now, I, I went ahead and did the binding already and I did a little bit of initial setup, but um, the binding is a standard FreeSky D16. Um, I did a bind on there, um, nothing fancy. You know, I hold the button in while you power up and uh, I connect it, so I'm, I'm bound up. The important part that I did do uh, quickly here, and this is why I did this ahead of time in the video, because it would take too much time to, to set it up while recording. I, uh, I wanted to see, we've added here a, uh, a gyro, a pitch, and a bank input, um, because we probably want to use all of that. If you're not going to use banks, then don't care about it, but you probably want to have the gyro so that you can set heading hold. All right, so once you define the inputs, you're actually gonna set it up. So in mixes, I just clicked enter and back out on channel five, six, and seven. So we just added those three in there. So now I have the mixes in 
And if you go and look at the outputs um, currently, um, I yeah, you'll have to come in here and, and reverse these as needed. I have not done that yet. But if you look at the computer again, you'll see that now if I move my stacks, I have elevator. Well, actually, all of these are backwards. So um, you can go and change the sequence of channels on the radio. So reorder them if you like. Or you can do that right here on the app. And I'm just going to do it the app for simplicity's sake. I'm going to move my uh, left stick and that's supposed to be my rudder. So I know channel two is supposed to be there. So I just change that. Um, throttle is on channel well six. I know that should be channel one as well. All right, there we go. Um, and if I go to the other stick and I move elevator that's working correctly uh, but aileron needs to be there we go channel four so i now have elevator aileron rudder throttle configured in here and i also have on gyro i set it up on a switch i can see that and i oh, i haven't signed a bank yet so i can just say i think believe channel seven that should give me a bank all right good so there we go um i have now set up the ability to communicate with with my receiver and you know yeah sure the the servers and stuff needs to be set up properly and that'll be further down in the wizard this is not something i'm going to cover in this video i just wanted to see this is how you hook up your receiver and so that is working great okay now that we have the receiver hooked up the next thing we want to do is actually control and and since i can't control a throttle directly from this little postage stamp receiver, you notice that I did set up throttle there on channel one. When you do that, auxiliary one automatically on your spirit becomes your throttle output. That is in the documentation, you can go and read that. So if you have a hobby wing or whatever ESC you have, you'll just take that uh, ESC cable and plug it into aux one. Make sure it's not powered up. Uh, currently, I'm still using a two cell LiPo for power directly into the unit. So when you power up through the ESC and using the back for that, then uh, you need to make sure you take out your two cell LiPo. The reason I wanted to show this is you also have the RPM sensor coming from your hobby wing in this case. And that goes into, and you'll see it's only the metal pin that's connected on here. So, um, and that goes into this very end connector here the elevator pitch aileron connector. And so that'll give me RPM reading from my hobby wing. So that sets up that. All right, so we're almost ready to just put this on a helicopter and set up the servos. But the last thing I wanna show you is the ability to hook up S port, the smart port, so that you can do integration and talk to the radio. And to do that, that's where the second part of this connector comes in. So you'll see, that in this connector, I now also have on the other side, I, I doubled up on my brown wires, my negative, and on the red wires, my positive. And then my port here, the orange wire, goes to the green wire, which is my smart board. To do that, you need a little integration cable that you need to buy from Spirit. This is uh, specifically needed to hook up the integration part to the sys port. Remember the sys port is very special, so this will invert and protect and all that kind of stuff so you don't blow up the sys port. Um, so the short end of, of this, you'll see the one end is a little longer than the other end. The short end goes into our port here. If I can turn this the right way around, making sure that I match up orange with orange okay so that's the short part hooked onto s port i wrote on that a little bit so i just remember which is which and 
we're going to take that out and uh, actually let's take the power off and the reason for that is that sys port is currently still talking USB protocol serial protocol um, but when we connect this in it'll change that so it can talk smart port all right and while we're at it we're now going to power up using the ESC for power so or my reaching over here so I'm gonna get to the power there plug it in so there we go now we have the power coming in from my ESC powering up my unit everything is hooked up and if I am lucky we should be good to go here now one of the things that you have to do is to go and get a Lua script from Yes, and I'm showing you on the other screen on my laptop and go and download the Lua script for your specific radio. And you can see here it says download script for helis. I'm going to hit that. And when you do that, it's going to put the files in a folder here. And uh, you'll see you'll see that uh, I have three folders in here. We're going to use the Horus one. So the Jumper T16 will use Horus. But what you do is you're going to take this and copy this onto the SD card. Uh, actually, not this. You're going to go and take this spirit folder and copy that onto the SD card. So let me go back. So this folder here, you're going to drag that straight onto the root of the SD card. And when you do that, it'll now be available in your, your card. When I hit sys button here, oops, I'm going to go out of my configuration. Hit the sys button, go next page. You will see SD card. And on the SD card, I now have that folder that I dragged over, got Horus. And so you can now see I have a few scripts here. So I can execute. There we go. And as you can see, I am already communicating with a spurt. And that should give you, there you go, the throttles, setup, all that kind of stuff. So there you go, you can see all the pages set up. It's working right. Just a quick note before I finish up here. If you go into your configuration, long press back, go telemetry and do a discovery, you should be able to now see RPM. At least there's an additional one in there. And if you have anything else connected up, probably you can see that, but um, so there we go. We have telemetry that I can use that RPM and put it on my main screen and I can see that. Anyway, please like, subscribe and comment on there and tell me what you think. And if there's anything else I should put a video out for.